if you guys have ever used the app Offerup, it's like Craigslist where you buy sell or trade stuff. And uh, I had this camera posted on there for a couple weeks and finally some guy hits me up. He's like, hey man, I'm really interested in the camera. Are you willing to meet today? I'm like, yeah, for sure. Can you meet at Starbucks around three? And he's like, all right, for sure. So it's getting to around three. I usually like to get to the meet before. So like I gave myself like a 15 minute cushion just so I can like see if there's anyone there, if it's really safe or I should go inside. So then I'm waiting outside because there's already people outside. And he hits me up, he's like, hey man, I'm running a little late, is it cool? I'm like, yeah, for sure, people usually always run late to these things. And I'm sitting outside, and I didn't even know it was him pulling up. It was this really old, rusty car, janky, it was like, really moving slow. And then he just pulls up right to the first spot, spot. and then he pulls out. He's like, white long socks, bald head, he's walking out like this. He's like, hey man, are you uh, Chris with the, with the camera from off road? I'm like, yeah, uh, nice to meet you, here's the camera. And he's like, all right, and he pulls out this big wad, ones, fives, tens, I'm like, is it all there? He's like, yeah, you can count if you want. I'm like, all right, for sure. So I um, start counting it. He's like, hey man, you know how to work the camera. I'm like, yeah, I just opened it out of the case because it's a GoPro. And uh, I just show him how to work. He's like, all right, thanks. And after every deal I usually do, I just stick my hand out. I'm like, all right, good deal, everybody. And uh, he just stares at my hand, like five seconds in. I'm like, all right. And he just turns around and walks away. I'm like, all right, that's weird. I'm like, all right, I just go back to my car. I have the money in my hand, I'm happy. I'm just walking back to my car. And the next thing I usually do is I wait for them to leave before I do, because that's like in my head, like, all right, I just have to be like cautious with everything. I'm like, all right, five, 10 minutes pass, he's not leaving. So I get into my car, I'm, as I'm pulling out, I notice he's leaving with me. I'm like, you couldn't just leave like a couple minutes before I did? I'm like, all right, whatever, I don't, I don't think about it too much. I pull up to my neighborhood, which is on the other side of the block, and I keep driving, and I notice he's pulling up behind me. I'm like, all right, that's weird. Uh, I've never seen that car around here, and I make a right turn instead of a left to my house. I'm like, all right, let's see if he follows me. And he turns. I'm like, all right, that's weird. I know there's a cul-de-sac coming up, so I'm like, all right, I'm going to test something. I'm going to pull into it, and if he keeps driving by, all right, I'm just going to try to go the other way as fast as I can. What if he stops and I think he has a problem? So I pull up to this cul-de-sac and I put my car in park. I'm like, all right, I'm checking the, checking the mirror, checking it. He's not passing. And I check the other one and I see him, he's parked there. He's going like, he's going like this. I'm like, oh my God, this guy's like gonna try to do something. So in the back of the car, I remember I had some airsoft guns cause I was about to go play airsoft. And I get one of them and mine don't have like the orange tips. They look like real guns. And I get one and I put it to my side. I'm like, all right, I'm going to pull the gun on him, try to scare him. I don't know if he's armed or trying to do something. <laughs> so I'm just like, all right, I'm going to give it a couple of seconds. I'm like, I have it to my waist. All right. And I check again and he's still there looking around. If there's anybody, I'm like, all right, I'm going to pull the gun on him. I just open the door and I put the gun on him and I just walk towards him. And all I see, he's thugs and he just goes like you can hear the... <laughs> And I could hear him going around the corner because like this janky car and I just get into my car I throw the gun under because and then I just leave fast and I take off I don't even go to my house or to the airsoft place I was going to I just went to this parking lot like I had this adrenaline rush just pumping like I can't believe I just pointed a gun at someone and I just parked there and like I just wait I'm like all right 20 minutes I need to relax and make sure he's not following me and he didn't follow me, I haven't seen him since. And from then on, I just like make sure when I go to like offer a meetup or something, I have someone that, that's with me or I bring like a knife or something every time. <laughs> and that's the worst experience I've had on offer up.